Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at the new AM5 Secure Frame in red from Thermalrite. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Thermalrite AM5 Secure Frame Mounting Kit in red. Uh, there's available in a couple of different styles, there is a black and a red depending on obviously what your uh, particular preference is. Very cheap, very inexpensive, somewhere in the region of about £10 here in the UK. So if you are planning on upgrading to an AM5 socketed motherboard and processor, and you want to prevent all of the uh, goo sopping down in between the processor bits, which uh, happens basically every time you use it because of the weird shape of the AM5 processors, this could be just the ticket. And also as well, it is gonna help to kind of flatten out the tension across the CPU. Now we don't have the same sort of issues that we do with the Intel LGA1700 sockets where they are known to kind of go a little bit concave due to the pressure on the socket. We don't seem to be getting that with AM5 because it is a stronger HSF. So this probably isn't overly necessary, but gonna be interesting to see if it does actually make any difference at all to the temperatures. My personal thing is gonna be keeping the processor clean. If you're somebody who likes to kind of tweak and tamper of your system a little bit, maybe change thermal paste, maybe you're testing a whole bunch of thermal paste to see which one is best, this is gonna help keep your CPU considerably cleaner. I should also say thanks very much to Rick H for sending this over to us for uh, taking a look at. Much appreciated, Rick. So let's take a look at it. So as you see what it says on the box there, no, uh, no real surprises, like I said, available in black and red. This particular one is the red version inside the box. Not a great deal. There is the, uh, the world's smallest installation guide, which uh, basically is kind of useless. You do get an included syringe of the Thermalrite TF7 thermal paste. So that's very handy. So obviously you can give that a go. Uh, in this particular test today, we're gonna to be using MX4 because that is what I've got currently set up in there. So I want to see if there's any direct kind of differences in temperatures, that sort of stuff. And also you do get a Torx tool as well for doing and undoing the screws with the Torx end on both there, so that's pretty handy. There is also a set of four screws, so we do have to replace the screws that are actually on the motherboard. So when we take out the uh, retention mechanism, we will be replacing those with those four screws. And then last of all, we get the actual contact frame itself. And as you can see, it has got the cutouts there for the weird shape of the M5 processor, which I still to this day do not quite understand why they've done it like that. It is what it is, I guess, but it's very well made. Got some nice little kind of um, almost like laser cut edges around the side there, which have a little highlight of chrome. We've also got the AM5 markings on there, thermal right logo, and also there's a little triangle in the top there to denote that is the top section. On the back of it, you've got some plastic there to prevent it from sort of damaging or making contact with the motherboard itself. And it's all been cut out very nicely, all very, uh, very well machined. Surprising that actually they can sell this for somewhere in the region of about £10 here in the UK, considering normally thermal paste on its own is somewhere around about £6. So yeah, almost if you want some thermal paste, buy that and get this free. So anyway, there you go. There's the introduction. Be interested to see how this goes. I didn't have so much luck with my previous version of this for the Intel setups. And to be honest with you, I'm not expecting there to be a great difference. The only thing I can think of with this is going to be those kind of quality of life things that you get from basically not having your thermal paste go down inside the processor, which is basically very mucky. And yeah, even though it doesn't do any damage or any harm, it's just one of those things. It's just very annoying for those of you that are enthusiasts and like playing with your CPUs. Yeah, there's nothing worse than seeing a little bit of goo on the side of your CPU. Anyway, let's get this thing installed and uh, see how it goes. So to start off with, taking our PC, uh, basically disconnect everything. So we need to remove obviously the CPU cooler. In this particular instance, this uh, thermal take one is actually very easy to do. So we've just got a screw top and bottom. So just release those and then the pump head itself will come off pretty much in its entirety. A few cables that we need to loosen off, but other than that, it should be uh, very straightforward. So I'm just gonna undo those screws. So I may need to actually unplug some of these cables to give us a little bit of a, a better picture of this. And in fact, due to the fact that the retention bracket that you can see behind is actually holding the processor in, doing it in a upright position, as we are now in the vertical, is probably a bad idea. So we want this to be laid flat on its back. So I'm gonna disconnect the wires and then we'll stick this flat on the back and give you an overhead shot. 
Okay, so now we've got some better access to the actual socket and I've given it a quick clean up. So you can see straight away, there's uh, lots of bits around the edges where goo can accumulate, which uh, we don't like. Actually, I think I can see a little bit there on the side. So we'll need to clean it up a little bit when we get the actual processor out. So what we want to do is to press down the lever on the side, move out to the side and release the tension. Don't let it spring all the way back because that's just a horrible noise and nobody wants to hear that. Then using the Torx T15 screwdriver, this included, you can then go around and loosen off the actual socket itself. Just do like a quarter of a turn so you don't release all the tension in one go. And then once you've released pretty much most of the tension, you can then go ahead and unscrew all the screws. So once you've got the screws fully undone, you should be able to lift off the mechanism it looks like that one in the back still needs a few more there we go so there we go you can lift off the entire retention mechanism in one shot and as you can see we've left the original ones in place so there it is our cpu so now what we want to do is to basically grab your retention plate or socket adapter or whatever you want to call it and basically place it over your processor very simple, like so. And then we're gonna grab our four screws and then I'm just gonna drop the screws into the holes. Now in this particular version of this kind of socket uh, retention adapter or whatever frame bracket, whatever you wanna call it, there isn't actually any instructions on how tight to do these up. So I'm gonna do the usual things. So I'm gonna walk it back so I hear a click then do a turn. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. And do a turn. I'm just going to do it in opposing sides. There's the click. And it looks like this only needs basically like one full turn. So After that, it's like kind of a quarter of a turn. So I'm just going to do it until I feel the hard stop. And that in theory is it. So now you should find your processor sits slightly proud of the actual side there. You can just like see there's a very slight shadowing on there. I'm glad I got the red version of this actually. So you can see that shadowing. So you know, any overspill is going to go onto this bracket rather than actually going onto well, into the processor. So let's get some thermal paste on there. So we're gonna reapply our uh, MX4 compound. Just gonna do a little line there. And then we use the spreader to spread that out. And then we'll put this all back together and see how it goes. Okay, so we've got it all installed and it's in the PC behind me. You might just be able to, uh, I might even try and zoom in to see if you can see it. You can just about make out the red outline around the actual CPU. So for those of you that are wondering, is it going to be visible if I'm using an AIO? Yes, it is. So depending on what your setup, you might want to go for the black one rather than the red. I kind of like it. I might even change my RGB to red just to match in with it. Anyway, what you want to know is the results. So realistically, in terms of is it an improvement, it isn't a great deal. Now, our Cinebench R23 scores, when we started off before, we've got 19,964. And after, we've got 2,000. And after, we've got 20,006 points. So basically about 50 points difference, which is definitely margin of error territory. Package temperatures before was 88.8 .8 degrees Celsius and after was 88.6. Again, kind of uh, in between there, basically margin of error, I would say, but certainly a win. And the lowest recorded temperature before was 37 degrees Celsius and after was 37.3. So 0.3 degrees difference after, which is possibly down to the new thermal paste bedding in. So overall, it hasn't made any problems at all. It hasn't uh, decreased performance. If anything, it has marginally increased it by a very, very small margin, but we'll definitely be keeping an eye on this. For me personally, I think it's great the fact that it stops the actual thermal paste getting down into the little bits around the side of the CPU and for doing thermal paste testing, which we will be doing very shortly using this bracket. So yeah, it's gonna make life a lot easier and things a lot easier to clean up. So a massive shout out again to Rick H for sending this over to us for review purposes. Definitely for the sake of about 10 pounds, I would recommend buying one. If you're going down the AM5 route, you're building a new system, 
just get one. It's going to make life a lot easier in the long run. Make sure your processor is going to be held in there properly over the long term because those uh, LGA pins are rather fragile. So having your processor kind of bolted in there does give it a nice feeling of security and also it's going to be extremely easy to clean up. So there you go. There is the Thermalright M5 secure frame in red. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to see content like this on a daily basis, then hit subscribe and the channel notification and be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.